Hi, so I thought I'd do a quick video. So you probably see I'm a Homeland fan, or was till he got strung up in the last series. Very disappointing. Right, so you're, from the other videos you're aware, I use the PIC microcontrollers. Uh, nothing wrong with the others, I'm just familiar with the PIC. Um, so this is a little project I made last year. Uh, thought Homeland was going to keep on going, but figured it had to come to an end. The main purpose of this video is to illustrate simple power supplies for your PIC projects. Uh, so this, in, inside this, you, you might remember I used the Mini PIC 32 board from Microelectronica. Uh, also purchased this uh, TFT display. I believe it's a Microelectronica one, but I got it from Farnell Leeds. So this is running, yeah, the PIC 32 with the internal RTCC. The only downside of that is the internal RTCC on the PIC back, hasn't got a battery backup. Uh, obviously, if you use the like these external RTCCs, they've got their battery holders, that sort of thing. If you lose the power, uh, this will maintain the clock. When you're running the PIC microcontroller uh, with the internal RTCC, you need some sort of battery source. So this is running off a uh, 5 volts USB. What I'll do, I'll unplug it. And you should see it dim a small bit. There you are. That's now unplugged and running off the internal battery. So, I want to show you a quick, simple way just to power your PIC projects or Arduino, whatever you're using, Atmel. So, if I turn this clock up, zoom back out, so you probably guessed this. It, this is just the Perspex housing. I had this cover printed, A and B printing, just company up up the road. Uh, near Leeds, and you'll see I captured some of the image, and that's completing the missing text. This is obviously the colour TFT, time and date, and this is the printed image stuck onto the case. Right, let me turn this up. It's it's only half finished, so right. You see, let me get some light on there. That's now running off this lithium iron battery, bit of glue on the top, stop the terminal shorting out. And you might be able to read, depending on focus, that's a lithium iron battery out of a Sony Ericsson phone. Can't read the capacity, of 700 milliamp hour. So I thought I'll show you how I'm driving this Mini Pic 32, uh, how I'm charging this Sony Ericsson lithium iron battery and maintaining the time so here's a usb lead unplugged now i'm running, running on a battery i'll plug this power source back in quickly so this is the main point of the video getting showing you this evaluation board made by microchip it's got one of their chips on there their lithium iron chargers uh, I made the mistake of ordering the chip itself. It's an MCP7387 and it was so small I had no chance of getting it onto a board. Right in there in the corner, probably can't see it. That's the microchips evaluation board. And I figured the cost of the board, rather than buying chip, uh, buy a chip and get, get your own circuit boards made up, this board is £13 from Farnell. So any project you want to run, just buy one of these from Farnell. It's a fully integrated lithium ion battery charger uh, and monitor. As you can see, I've got the blue and green lights on that indicates it's now charging. Got, uh, all the timers and current curves all done for you, all mapped out. So just 5 volts in, here and here, and there's the power out to the battery. When you disconnect your supply, it just starts running your load off the battery. Uh, and you see this mini PIC32 board from Microelectronica. I'm just con I found an old USB lead, just chopped it, connected it to the board. Job done. The PCB for the Glock's an old one, used to use an Two, well, two options depending on which uh, chip or display I was using. T2 
two RCC chips went there and external battery went there. All the buttons to adjust the time of day but with the internal calibration you get with these PIC 32s they're very accurate. This clock's been running for a couple of months. Well, I'll just show you again. It's running for a couple of months and I think it's it's a 10 or 12 seconds fast at the moment and I can still calibrate it further but obviously no need. Right let me get uh, I'll shift this camera and show you the boards I'm using. Right here's the USB power supply. They literally cost two or three pound from eBay. Uh, other suppliers I guess but this one's capable of running loads up to 5 volts at 0.6 of an amp, so 600 milliamps, more than adequate for those small picks and these small TFTs. So I just use one of these USB power supplies, uh, a small USB extension lead, and job done. You can obviously make your own power supplies, but why make one when you can buy one for two or three pounds ready made? They're obviously like a switch, mode, switch mode power supplies and have the internal inverters. Right, this is the Microchips Lithium Iron Battery Charger. Well, it comes in this massive box with Farnell. You've got some test points you hook up your test leads or wires to. It's a TP2, that's a VDD power in, ground, ground. That's the battery connects there, CE and TP3. I believe from memory I had to ground this pin to charge it. But you can run, the, you've got three LEDs down there, red, green and blue, not necessarily in that order. And depending on which LED is on, tells you what it's doing. Whether it's on standby, uh, charging, charge complete, timer error, temperature error, that sort of stuff. Two switches. So you can look, USB, you probably won't be able to see it on this camera, but this uh, dip switch selects from USB to AC. So I've only got five volts USB supply, so it's selected to USB. And then this, this dip switch here, program two, is for low or high current. When it's set to low, uh, regulates the current up to 100 milliamps max. Put up to high, something like 500 milliamps or more. Have a look at the data sheet. For confirmation, this is the tiny chip, obviously. I forget the package name, but I ordered one of these packages. And what a joke. I've got no chance of getting a board made up cheaply to accommodate one of these chips. So, £13. Four little rubber feet. And you probably see from the clock, I just glued it into the corner uh, and soldered an old mobile phone battery to it. Full data sheets on the internet. I will give you a quick demonstration. This is the box it came in. And the part number 1676251. About £13 from Farnell. Uh, so you saw the PIC32 from Microelectronica, I bought this PIC32 off eBay, it was, it was nearly £20. I'm going to use this for another clock because it's got the SD card holder, micro SD card holder. So it incorporates, as does the Microelectronica one, it's got the low voltage, uh, low dropout regulator. 3.3 volts up to about 800 milliamps. I actually ordered some. Got a pack of 10 here. If you look at that regulator there, look at that part number, look at the specs. Supplies going on for an amp to your little pick circuits or Arduino circuits. 3.3 volts D2 pack package. Um, yeah, this has got similar regulator mounted on board. Yeah, it's got the SD card holder, as I say, and the PIC32 uh, on board. So, using that package, 
all the wires, and wire that straight to a display. Um, that clock you saw, at the time I hadn't figured out how to accommodate the SD card, how to program it and get the pictures, which you might see in the background of that one. Doesn't want to focus. If I turn this light off, so you see that's running off microelectronica's uh, pick there up there. Just a four degree ribbon cable running to that, and you'll see from the other video, I'll show you how to capture pictures, load them onto the SD card, and capture them. Um, that's about it. Just, uh, and there's the old RTC2 click of Microelectronica's, I think Easy Pick version 7. That's what I yeah used to use, got into using them. One of these backup battery that would probably last for 10 years or more. Uh, obviously, you don't need one of these if using Pick32 or one of Microchip's microcontrollers with the internal. RTCC, but obviously if you want to keep the time and you lose the power you need some sort of battery and battery charger so hence the reason for this video uh, anyway that's the evaluation board from microchip I thoroughly recommend it I think it's fantastic 13 pound can't go wrong 5 volts in and job done for you don't have to worry about your lithium ion battery exploding getting too hot or anything got all the protection everything. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much.